Let's hop over to Karen Campbell now looking into uh, how people can stay safe in this weather. As I've said, low temperatures like this can be very dangerous, Karen. Yeah, Chuck, exactly. I mean, dangerous is the perfect war for this weather, right? And that's why, I mean, even this morning, I brought out my trusty ski pants. These buddies, these keep me so warm, especially, you know, when we're talking about those sub-zero uh, wind chills. But, you know, on, on, on a more serious note, your, your heart goes out to those who don't have heat or shelter or, you know, just a place to go to get out of this dangerous weather. That's why the city uh, has developed uh, for 2022. It's called their Winter Contingency Plan, and it's where people can find a place to stay warm, uh, for example, at Indy Parks and space inside Indianapolis Public Library locations during business hours. Wheeler Mission, they are also stepping up to help out. Overnight shelters are going to be available for families and anyone experiencing homelessness, and COVID protocols are in place to avoid further spread of the virus. Now, also, check out this tweet from Hamilton County Emergency Management. They say that frostbite can occur in as little as 30 minutes. They recommend wearing several layers in this extreme cold weather because frostbite and hypothermia can play a factor. So if you experience things like numbness, uh, skin that feels unusually firm or waxy, or even a white or grayish yellow skin area, you're developing frostbite. Now with hypothermia, it's a little different. You're going to look for uh, shivering, exhaustion, confusion, memory loss, or even slurred speech. So again, this is the perfect time to watch out for your neighbor. Check up on your neighbor. And if you know anyone that's experiencing homelessness or that needs shelter, uh, Give them a hand, help them out, or you can also call 211 uh, to find out any resources in your area. Guys, back to you.